Okay, well, the spindle um, arrived today. I was very happy about that. I got the VFD as well. Um, and I just got the uh, cooling system hooked up and I'm testing it to make sure that there aren't any leaks. Um, so if you're wondering, the tube size uh, that fits this stuff is uh, 5 sixteenths by 3 sixteenths is what I use. Um, again, it goes through these bulkhead connect connectors, and I've got uh, these these uh, solid core plugs that have a barb fitting. Um, let's see if I get that focus. Yeah, it's got a barb barb fitting on the uh, one side and a solid uh, plug into the uh, quick disconnect there or the quick connects there. And then on the other side, I've got uh, 3 eighths OD, I think it's quarter inch ID uh, running through everything else. Um, so yeah, the system uh, does not appear to have any leaks. Um, the spindle f moves freely, uh, which is a good thing. Um, one thing that I did a lot that other people um, had recommended as well, um, when you get this fitting, uh, electrical fitting, um, you'll find only three pins are connected to the to the phases and the fourth pin is not connected to anything which is what's supposed to be ground. Um, and I'll post a picture on my build log but um, anyway the uh, uh, the way that I fixed that was to solder of course to the solder cup on the back of the pin and then I lightly filed the inside edge of the fitting and um, then soldered the wire to the uh, outside metal part. Um, you do have to be kind of careful with that. Uh, it's bron uh, I think it's either nickel or chrome plated but anyway what you want to do is kind of file at a slight angle and you'll expose um, a layer of copper and that will wet to the, uh, to the um, wet the solder uh, to that part and you'll get a good connection then. Um, and then what I did is just filed it smooth so that it fit back inside of the, uh, the, the fitting and called it good. And I tested the conductivity and it's, it's good. Um, so anyway, I don't know if you can s hear my pump going, but uh, let's see if I can get that to do anything. But that is uh, the flow rate that I've got. It's pretty decent. Um, it does uh, make noise. Makes me feel like I have to go to the bathroom. But uh, <laughs> um, anyway, it's got a decent flow rate and I'm happy with it. So when I uh, when I cut this, the power switch to the VFD, the pump will turn off and everything will backflow in the system and you'll see the, the air come through. Let me get that focused on there. You'll see the air come through. You can hear it. Okay, it's coming. There it goes. And it'll continue to pull out. As you can see, the actual spindle holds a decent amount of water. I was kind of surprised about that. Um, anyway, if I turn everything back on, you'll be able to see the kind of flow rate that I get through here a little bit better. There's plenty of flow, no problems. So I think the whole cooling pump and everything that I've got invested in it may have cost me about 50 bucks. So not bad. 
Um, as I said, I elected not to, to use a radiator on this because I've read on the other forms that the spindle really doesn't create a whole lot of heat. Um, and uh, that water doesn't really get warm that much uh, when you're running it. So um, I don't know if you can see that. That gives you an idea of the level of flow rate. As those air bubbles go through, you can kind of see how fast it's moving through there. Pretty good clip. So, good enough. Till next time, I guess I'll see you guys later.